So this week's responding to your comments is all about Jock Itch. Sharpie961 asks, Hey Abraham, please make a video on Jock Itch treatment and home remedies. It's so itchy and I need your help. Well, consider it done. Hit that like button if you're fired up for this and let's go. Okay, so let's keep this bit short and sweet. Jock Itch, it's basically a fungal skin infection that mainly affects the groin area, buttocks, and inner thighs. And this is because the fungus loves warm, dark, and damp environments. So this area is ideal for it. Background done, now let's move on to those tips to get rid of your jock itch, and also make sure you watch to the end because I'm gonna teach you stuff that you're never told. Okay, so tip number one. We need to make the environment hell for the fungus, okay? So we need to do everything we can to keep this environment dry and fresh. So if you wear tight briefs or tight boxes, they need to go, okay? And switch them for loose fitted cotton boxer shorts. And I know that like me, you probably like your boxers to be nice and fitted, but make sure you look at what they're made of because they're usually made of synthetic fibers and not cotton. This means that it's gonna get hot, sweaty, you can't breathe down there, and basically the fungus absolutely loves that and it's not gonna help things at all. And diving straight into tip number two, look, if you're exercising and you sweat a lot, especially in that region, and you're staying in those wet clothes for long, well, that's what fungus loves. It loves wet and moist environments, so we need to stop doing that. So here's what you need to do. Get changed as quickly as you can. Do not stay in those wet clothes for long, and also, if you're someone who sweats a lot just generally, bring a fresh pair of boxes with you or something like that and get changed so you're not staying in those wet clothes, which is aggravating and making things worse. Now moving straight on to tip number three, clean towel and drying habits. Let me tell you a quick story. Whenever I go to the gym, I see so many people who get out of the shower, quickly dry themselves within a second, get dressed and leave. So if that's you, one, you need to stop doing that and you need to clean yourself thoroughly with a towel and two, you need to use a fresh towel every single time you dry yourself. Now before we move on to the next tip, if you're finding this information helpful, then click that like button right now and leave me a comment. And also, if you know someone that will find this information helpful, share this video to them right now because I'm sure they'll appreciate it that you're thinking of them. So now it's time to move on to the big guns. Tip number four is all about antifungal treatments. You will have to purchase these from your chemist, so you will have to speak to your pharmacist to make sure that you're safe and suitable to use them. Now there are lots of different antifungals such as clotrimazole, meconazole, notice that they all end in azole, and they're very effective at treating jock itch and they come in different formulations such as sprays and creams. And moving swiftly on to tip number five, this is one that no one's talking about and it's athlete's foot. Look, if you've got athlete's foot and we treat your jock itch, most likely you're gonna get your jock itch again. So here's what you need to do. You need to treat your athlete's foot again. Lucky for you, I have a video on it which has some great tips on what you need to do. I'll leave a link to it up here and in the description below. Now, if you found this information helpful today, show some love and donate our team a cup of coffee. Simply press the thanks button below and donate whatever you can because your support will help us create more medical videos just like this one. Sending awesome vibes.